you familiar with the concept of karma? Yeah. And, and, and what you do yeah. comes back to you. Right. Does that suggest that there is actually such thing as evil? Uh, karma is it's not necessarily evil as what we call it. It's cause and effect. Okay. It's more polarities. Okay. <clears throat> you got two energies that battles for supremacy. And the evil is the moralistic level that we look at it. Okay. If you look at it on a scientific level, the water is safe. But this bleach over here might be detrimental. Mm -hmm. Now, if a person, look at the bleach and it has the skull and the crossbones on the back. Mm -hmm. And the people forget the knowledge that the skull, skull, skull and the crossbones just simply means it's a more powerful substance that can be harmful. And years later they look at the skull and crossbone and they're saying that, that, that bottle there has the devil in it. So you're taking something which is a moral projection on something that is trying to explain energies. Okay. So we're talking about different polarities. Mm -hmm. And one complements the other. Now I'm getting to the thing on karma because that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very one. But I want to explain this particular part about the whole evil thing. Okay. <clears throat> if you look at it as a formula, and they say that basically what happened was these, these newer concepts of evil is that when the younger generations came into this acquisition of knowledge and certain things and motifs and certain things that the older generation didn't leave behind, it didn't survive as far as the explanation of it, mm. when, the, when the younger generations get it, or uh, let's say the millennials down, they get this thing, they, what they couldn't understand, they just lumped as evil. They said one man's devil is another man's God. Now, Two things on the karma aspect. Because we have these polarities in us, you psychologically can create, it's not like some God looking over you saying, you bad and I'm going to punish you. Because you are the God self, you can create your own aspect based on your ignorance of something. Right. Or you being programmed, to, to, programmed into something. Um, like guilt almost. Like guilt something and different things, different, different things like that. So, in so many words, and obviously karma works, uh, hits us harder than it does the later people. Mm -hmm. Because we are so potent as far as our indigenous self. Mm -hmm. I want to say that because I want to use that other than African self. Because we're just talking about indigenous people around the globe. Exactly. You can psychologically create these things yourself. Let me give you an example. A, a, a person that's real stingy or uh, real frugal and real a tightwad. Mm -hmm. They can be that way in one aspect of themselves and then they then they, they then they look they might look around and go, Man, I can't meet nobody, I can't meet no man, I can't meet no girl. Mm -hmm. And what it is, the per the people that they meet, they'll start repelling those people. And they're repelling those people because they set up something within their own self by being a tightwad, being stingy, being, you know what I'm saying? You set these laws up yourself, so it's not necessarily some person that's over you, you see. And then you get to the point where as it just it get to be moralism of stuff that's going to ride. Like take for instance a lot of Buddhist things, whereas they had certain things that was, was scientific. And over the years when the scientific element... Um, was no longer around, and they start saying, don't step on that ant, you're going to develop karma. Right. You can't do this, you can't do that. Well, why even be born? It's the same as the whole sin thing. Mm -hmm. What's the point of even living? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. According to Islam, <coughs> and according to, 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 to most fundamentalist Christians, you're just supposed to just stand still and not do anything, because to even to think is a sin. So a lot, of this, a lot of that is stuff that's gotten out of hand as far as a lot of karma stuff on that particular aspect. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? But cause and effect has a lot to do with the actual person, and that person brings that, that, that on itself. Mm -hmm. But getting back into this concept of evil, a lot of the evil uh, scientific laws that's been forgotten and been lumped over into what's evil. Let me give you an example. They talk about evil in the Kabbalah, which is a Hebrew thing, but which is actually on the Temple of Komombo. These are, these are systems that came out of the Mishra system. A part of the evil is called Sita Aura or Sita Hara. And it's supposed to be this unclean spirits, mm -hmm. this filth. 
understand what this is scientifically. Obviously, we can't be talking about what's unclean in the circumference of a world because everything he comes from the same aspect. So ultimately, what you want, what you call clean, just might be just a different process going on that you might that you deem was clean and unclean. But what I'm trying to say here is, what are, so what are they talking about when they talk about this thing is evil, is sit to aura, these unclean spirits? Mm-hmm. Well, cosmically, because they call it call it cosmic filth. Mm-hmm. And cosmically, and scientifically, what they're talking about is this: we have our solar system that was formed. And the stuff that is left behind, that's outside of this particular solar system, of the building blocks and stuff, this is the stuff that they call unclean or cosmic filth. And the very (laughs) thing they call melanin or carbon and all that type of stuff. Here is an ancient term that later on those advanced people was talking about when they was talking amongst themselves. They knew what it was. But later on, the people who get this stuff, they think it's an actual essence that's evil and unclean. It's just like now they talk about junk DNA. Right. And all junk DNA is the part of the melanin that they can't understand. Mm-hmm. So they can only understand the two strands and they can't understand the other stuff. Mm-hmm. Then it's called that junk DNA. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So if that's, that's, that's a new modern way of doing the same old thing that, that, that crept up in this ancient way. Then later on filter down into what is exactly. evil and un- unclean. Right, because dr- junk is something that's useless. Some, that's a negative connotation. It, 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 negative it's connotation. Like unclean. Right. You know, so, so when they was talking about this, and, and, and it's interesting because one guy in the Kabbalistic <coughs> thing said, well, I've been trying to figure out this unclean spirits. And they say, well, they say we know the origin of it comes from Egypt. Mm-hmm. And the guy said, oh, then you're talking about some type of Egyptian sorcery. But if you look at the word sorcery and keep taking it back, it comes back to alchemy. Mm-hmm. These people are able to create something that is not only in this universe, but outside of the universe, mm-hmm. which is the building blocks is ultimately talking about melanin. You see, that carbon substance. So here again, to try to understand evil on a whole other level. Now, what, what, what does that mean? There was another breakdown, too. They said that the moral laws that came in, let's say, the last 2,000 years or two, 3,000 years, mm-hmm. They said that the spirit world, they knew that there was going to be a people that's going to be a younger people mm-hmm. that needed a moral code because they were people that, that were warlike people. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they're coming out of a thawed out ice box. This, you know what I'm saying, this ice man. So if he didn't have a book of laws and code, look what he did with the book of laws and code around the world. If he didn't have a book of laws and code... It like could be Bible mayhem, like the Bible. Right, right. So a lot of these books came in, they said, because the simple fact here was these books came into existence to later books that mm-hmm. was nothing but uh, reworks of much more ancient texts. Right, right. They came into existence because they needed a people that needed more fundamental laws just based on a system of behavior. Mm-hmm. Whereas, they say, they say when they look back into the ancient world, they don't see a sense of morality. No, because the ancient world, they didn't use morality as a, as a tool of behavior. Mm-hmm. They dealt with the spiritual aspect of things. Your morality and stuff came based on your rites of passage, based on your culture. Right. So you had certain things that was, that, that was instilled in you mm-hmm. that was a part of your culture. And the part of your, if your part of your culture is not to do certain things and you can... It's already ingrained in you and basically by it being a part of your culture mm-hmm. and a part of your rites of passage, mm-hmm. you don't have to have a book to go to to tell you how to behave. Right. When you go to the book, the book is talking about much more advanced and spiritual things. Mm-hmm. Whereas the, the people that's coming from a much more harsher environment later on, mm-hmm. they, they had to incorporate these things that would usually be in a rites of passage or in a cultural aspect, they had to incorporate them in the book. Almost like a child didn't have any upbringing. Right, didn't have no upbringing. They right. Tell them, don't do they that. Have to, so they had to put it in the actual text. Mm-hmm. So a lot of those texts and a lot of the stuff that they call sin mm-hmm. is just basically behavioral concepts for a later people. Um, as a matter of fact, let me tell you. Dealing with a person that's in the spirit world and, can, and, and has been constantly in the spirit world, I have never had any of these spirits show up and tell me anything based on you ain't behaving right. 
If you declare yourself a God, and that's what we are, then what you think and what you do, you write your own law. You know, basically, it ain't, you know, if, 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 if you are already on that particular level, mm -hmm. then, you know, there's no law to say that you can't do this and you can't do that. You see, you know, now on the other hand, you have to understand to really get to that level, that's the only part about it, is you got to realize, hey, am I doing this or is the ego doing this? That's a whole nother thing. Okay. But once you get to that particular level, and they'll let you know, well, you know, sooner or later you're going to figure out that's, that's your own ego doing that. Mm. So you'll, you'll, you'll figure that out. 